It's here. X Radio Video Creator Version 2.0. New sketch scene. Sprite animation. Green screen effect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a quick tutorial on the sprite animation. Now check this out. Nice little fish, nice little vacation video with the fish that comes flying in. And now uh, that fish, if you don't recognize it, is actually in SVG that's in the library. So we're gonna show you how to recreate this effect right now. First, let's just create a new scene, create a new scene. Okay, and then the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add the sketch image. And that's in the animals. See right there, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna check it out. As you can see, it's a sketch image of its own. And there it is, you just saw it sketch on the screen. Now we're gonna turn off the uh, sketch by hand because we just want it to come flying in. But what we need to do is put a video under here. So go to the ski. While this is selected, go to the scene tab, click on browse, and find our water scene, which is there. This is in the monthly my monthly folder where I keep my monthlies. So now you can see the fish just appears, right? Now here's where the uh, magic happens. When you are doing animate, when you're playing around in here now and you put a sketching in, you get the normal shift that keeps things proportional. Allows you to rotate with this tool, but this one says add animation. So what we wanna do is we wanna start out here Add animation and you get another fish and this time over here tells you how long it's going to take to get from here to here so anything you do between these two steps it's going to take 24 frames or one second for it to happen I want this to be 12 I want it to pop out there I want it to happen in half a second so I'm going to rotate it a little bit and then click on add point and I'll put this over here over here, click on the rotate button, resize it just a little bit. Uh, it's going to be one second. I want to make this kind of quick, so add another point. And this is where I'll enlarge it some. Now, what happens is, is that the other video, the fish came across the screen, paused for a second, and then turned around, right? So in order to make the pause, you just have to keep the fish in the same position for a number of frames. So we're gonna make another fish here. And I'm just gonna stack this right on top, right on top of the other one. And it's gonna sit there for a second. Then I'm gonna add another point and I'm gonna flip that one around. So now I can turn it down and make it smaller a little bit and have it pointing down here so it's going to stand here for a second then it's going to flip and turn this way uh, for a second and then I'm going to add a point move it out here turn it up a little bit change the size some and change the timing to 12 seconds okay and then we add one more point and I can have it pointing down in this direction have it almost off the screen make this one 12 and then one more point now just say that well I don't really need that at that point that I can just remove the point by doing that and I can come back in here and readjust this one and then maybe make that one there at one more point and just to exaggerate some motion, I'll pull it way out here and make this 10 frames. So let's see what we have now. See, that was our animation. And it was just as simple as that to create a sprite animation. And I used the fish because I had the vacation background, but you can do this with any object. So even though it doesn't fit the scene, I'm gonna add another sketch item which would be this clock. So we'll say, okay, the clock. And remember, you can zoom out with the wheel mouse, with the with the wheel on your mouse, I should say. There's a the clock, we're gonna start it there. 
we're gonna bring it down to the center of the screen and make it huge for 10 frames then we're gonna add another point and move it over into the corner and make it smaller okay and then we're gonna add another point and we're gonna flip the clock so we're gonna flip it horizontally so that the time look like the time just goes by real quick and then one last frame to move it out here, resize it a bit. And let's see what it looks like. It's gonna be out of context for sure. So let's see, that one shouldn't draw. Cause it's drawing up there above the screen, which doesn't help. So there it is coming in. Flips and stops. So now if we look at the whole scene. We can see the fish and we can see the fish animation fish sprite and then the clock comes in moves around and repositions itself and that's it everybody just a quick tutorial on how to um, perform some sprite animation on your SWFs your bitmaps uh, anything really you can do video the same way more tutorials to come shortly all right here's a quick tip on the green screen just to get started quickly check this out boom one more time okay so what we're going to show you is how that was done so what you're looking at here is the full screen of the explosion and under that explosion is a video remember see this is one scene this is another scene so it's a standalone scene so what we're going to do is recreate the whole thing so Create new sketch scene, which you know now that creating a sketch scene means you're going to create a scene with an, with the slides, with a SWF, or just a sketch item. So today what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a uh, green screen video, and then we're going to put the uh, other video under it. So now we're going to go looking for our green screen video. That's the MP4 right there, you see? And it's coming in it's there because if it didn't give you an error it's there we're not going to sketch it because i could sketch it well let's, let's just for the fun of it yes sir and ma'am we can sketch so and that is the explosion but i would like for it to occur full screen so i'm going to click up here and make it full screen now if I close the canvas, I can see that the explosion is full screen, but it's still black. Just for, so we can see the distinction. Now we're gonna go over here to scene and put a scene behind here, one that will appear and then the explosion is gonna happen in the middle, okay? Now, so let me go back to green screen really quick. Click on that, save changes. And then when I come back out, there it is. That is how quick and easy green screen is. There are a lot of other techniques and tips and everything else, but this was just to show you what's possible right now. So same thing over here, right? Same thing I just created for you right here. Thank you.